Good morning, guys. It is 9.45 a.m. Uh, you guys might be wondering why I'm up so early. Well, it is Monday, and Monday means I have school at 11. My class goes from 11 to 1.15. Before anybody asks, the class that I'm taking is a math class. It's one of my last prerequisites that I need to take before I start my program. So I had to get up early today and eat something and get ready before school. So I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what's going on today. Um, this will be the last thing I film until after school because I gotta eat and get ready and just, yeah. So, and then obviously I can't film during school, so yeah. So I will see you guys at like 1.30 this afternoon. Hey guys, what's up? It's almost 3 o'clock. I am back from school. I had a few errands along the way. I'm away home from school, so that's why it's so late in the day. I am home now, and I'm eating some of that rice stuff that I told you about with the chicken and all that Mom made. Um, I'm really, really exhausted. So I'm probably going to eat and then take a short nap and wait for Sean to get here at 5.45, and yes, you heard that correctly, Sean is coming over today. So, guess what that means? That means tonight, you all will get the Q&A video you've been patiently waiting for. Yay! So, um, if you have any more last minute questions, please try to give them to me. Um, I guess not because this video won't go up till later tonight. So never mind, scratch that. But yeah. So y'all will get the QA video tonight, so you should be happy on that one. I'm gonna go back and eat before my food gets cold, so I think I will see y'all when Sean gets here. Alrighty, so as you can see I am outside. It is 5.30 in the afternoon or evening or whatever you want to call it. I'm waiting for Sean. Sean left his house about 15 minutes ago and he only lives about 20 minutes away from me. So that's why I'm outside because it shouldn't be much longer until he gets here. So I will see y'all when he gets here or probably when we get to where we're going for what we're doing tonight. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. And I'm back. It is now a quarter to eight, and Luke, who finally decided to show up. Hey, what's going on, guys? Well, no, he's not three hours late. He has showed up right at 5.30, and we just hadn't seen each other in about a week or, week or week and a half, something like that. We had some personal issues come up that we needed to do, not see each other for that long, but now we're back, and no, we did not break up before anybody asked. Yeah, we just, we've both have been uh, pretty busy, and I just, I've been busy working a lot, so. And like I just said, I've had personal issues that I needed to be away from everything, <coughs> so. So, but. We're back, and where did we just finish eating at, love? We just finished eating at uh, Bonefish Grill. And, did you like it? Oh yeah, it was really delicious. I enjoyed it. What'd you have? I had these uh, fish tacos. They were pretty Sounds good. Sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, they're really good. So now we are gonna go home and shoot our Q and A video. And a person just stared at us because we were filming a video in our car. But uh, I'm sure this is why I don't do this. I'm sure they'll understand. So <laughs> they probably thought we were taking a picture. Right. Exactly. But yeah, we're gonna go home and shoot our Q and A video for you all. So I'm sorry to the viewers who did not get their questions in. But please feel free to keep commenting with questions because in the future, if this Q&A video gets good responses, we might do another one. But again, not for a few months because you don't want to overdo it. So Yeah, so stay tuned for our Q&A video that we're going to do uh, later. And I guess this is going to be part of, it's going to be part of this video, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, so stay tuned for the Q&A video featuring us. Yep. So we'll see y'all when we get home. Yep. See you guys. We are back home finally. It's about 8.30. So, 
We finally decided to get around to doing the Q&A video for you. I just wanted to have enough time to get questions in, and looks like we did. So are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Now, if y'all remember, like I said, I'm not cool enough to pop up the questions on the screen like some YouTubers, Tim Trekker, um, <laughs> because I don't have that technology. As you know, I film all my videos on my phone, and for some reason, my editor app doesn't let me pop up pictures on my screen, so it's whatever. So to solve that issue, I have texted all the questions to Sean's phone, as you can see, so I'm going to be reading off of his phone. Now, I'm not going to show you the phone each time you read a question because it will take at least 10 minutes for it to focus, as you just saw. You sure you're ready? Yep, I'm ready. I was going to say, you want to like take turns reading the questions, like you read one, I'll read one? Yes. Alright. Okay, so our first question is from Hannah Burns, and Hannah has actually asked us three questions. In one question, but hey, that's okay. The more the merrier, right? Yeah, what's what's the Hannah's question? Hannah's first question is what's your favorite Disney park? Well, my favorite Disney park would have to be a tie between Epcot or Hollywood Studios. For Epcot, I like all the countries and I like the food, but as for Hollywood Studios my favorite part would have to be the Beauty and the Beast part and also the fact that they have all like the classic movies there. Well, you can't watch the movies, but the park is focused around that. Yeah, my uh my favorite parks like for me would be like it would have to be either a tie between um uh Disney's Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. And the reason why I say that is because uh growing up when I was really little I've always wanted to be like a zookeeper and wanted to work with animals. And then when I was uh, going to college, I looked up the salary for zookeepers and yeah, it's not good at all. So now he gets to live his dream by just going to visit the animal, the animal kingdom every so often, right? Well, yeah, or any type of zoo or any type of place where they house animals I would like to see. But... I just, you know, I, I've always, like, gone to Animal Kingdom a lot when I was little, and I just, I remember all the different memories I've had of going there, and, um, but my number one, I think, uh, number one park from Disney of all time, I would say, is, uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, because of all the, like, the trips I've been to Disney, that's the one park I remember the most, because, I remember like all the different attractions they've had there like oh, like for so many years and um I tell Marie a lot about um about how they used to have they used to have uh Star Wars weekends which hopefully some of you out there know uh, about Star Wars weekends if you've been to Star Wars weekends please comment below if you have and let let us know um, what were your fondest memories of Star Wars Weekends? Please and, put those answers down in the comments below. Yeah, and just and just sit, just you know. Also, we want to know what is your favorite Disney park too. The second question that Hannah has asked is, "What is your favorite ride at Universal?" Well, I'm going to take this question and I'm going to give her both because I have a lot of favorite rides from both the parks. So my favorite ride at Universal on the studio side would have to be the Rip Rocket, which Sean is not too happy about because he doesn't like roller coasters. I'm not really too big into roller coasters, guys. But my favorite ride at um, <laughs> Islands of Adventure is Hulk, once again, Sean's least favorite ride, <laughs> which I know we didn't shoot a video, but I did ask him to go on Hulk with me when... Me and him and my dad went a couple weeks ago, and he went. He didn't cry as much as I thought he would. I was holding on for dear life, though. I will tell you what happened last weekend when we went to Universal for our anniversary. Can I tell them? Um, I mean, like... So we went on The Mummy. jeez. Oh, we went on The Mummy, which is one of my favorite rides, <laughs> and Sean wanted to make me happy because he knows how much I love roller coasters. 
and he's like, let's go on the mummy next, you know, all excited. Oh, all excited. Uh -huh. And then we get there, and because I have to go in the wheelchair, they make the um, people who need handicap assistance go in the front row just so it's easier for them to get off the ride, I guess. And we get in the front row, we're, we're, we're getting in the little queue line to get in the front row, and she was like, can we turn around? I don't want to ride this. I'm like, what? We probably spent 25 minutes in line, in the handicap line, mind you. And he's like, I don't want to ride in the front row. So I'm like, come on, you know? And yeah, it was crazy. Then we get oh, there, yeah. he's like, and, and I swear to God, he almost started crying. And I'm like, I will hold your hand the entire ride. So we literally rode like this. And not for my safety. For his. Because <laughs> this Dumbo decided to be a scared. Dumbo. Well, it's been so many years since I've rode the ride, and I didn't really know what to expect. But afterwards... I enjoyed it. It was a great see, ride. See, you got all scared for nothing. Yeah, I no. tend to do that to a lot of rides. I don't, well, not a lot of rides, just mostly roller just coasters. Just the roller coasters. Now, Hannah's third and final question is... Oh, wait, I, I want to say what my... Oh, yeah! I forgot. I forgot to answer that. Yeah, it's like, you don't leave me out I'm now. sorry. But yeah, so my favorite rides, I would have to say, um, on the Islands of Adventure side, it's a tie between uh, Spider-Man and um, Skull Island Ring of Kong. Now, Oh yeah, let me interrupt you. Yeah. Spider-Man's my second runner-up for my favorite ride on Islands. Yeah, Spider-Man's pretty awesome. I, I love going on Spider-Man every time, every time we go. You know, it's a really awesome ride, and... And what's your favorite ride in studios? Um, I, last, last Sunday when we went, um, uh, it was our first time riding the, well, it was my first time, I think it was like your second or your third. Yeah, about that. Uh, riding the Jimmy Fallon ride, and, um... It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was really cool. Alright, let's not give any spoilers to anyone who's not ridden it yet, okay? Oh, uh, I won't, I won't spoil anything. I wasn't gonna spoil anything. Well, why don't you tell them what the ride is? Well, it's pretty much it's pretty much like a simulation ride. It's kind of like similar to the uh, Minions ride, mm -hmm. um, except it's it's Jimmy Fallon themed, and uh, I really can't say anything about it because you know I want everybody to experience the ride for themselves. But um, it's a pretty awesome ride. I would definitely recommend riding it. And a um, couple weeks ago, actually, it was last month when we. When we, we officially got our annual passes reactivated, well, it was my first time getting an annual pass and getting it activated. It was my first time riding uh, Skull Island Ring of Kong, because I remember when the ride first opened, a lot of people were talking about it and, you know, raving all about it, and I wanted to see what it was like, and it was a really cool ride. I enjoyed it. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I just made fun of you of being scared of the mummy. Uh, then why don't you tell them about me being scared of Kong? All right, so yeah, this is my <laughs> that's, turn. That's why I'm laughing. It's my turn no. to butcher her. No. <laughs> come on. No. So, anyways. No, you don't get to tell them. Come on, I'm going to tell Guys, don't them. listen. Skip over the part of this video. I'm going to tell them. So, no. we get in line. No. Um, I think the the wait time was like a 75 minute wait. I hate this However, ride. However. <laughs> I hate you and I hate this ride. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't hate me. But, um, but yeah, she doesn't like the ride very much. But, um. Not at all. There's no, not, there's no, not much. There's at all. <laughs> and it's not that I don't like the ride, you guys. I'm petrified of it. Because. Well, anyways, so we get in because they were nice enough to let us on. And it's pretty much like a safari ride. You know, you get on... Safari? <laughs> well... Yeah, right! <laughs> Kilimanjaro Safari, Animal Kingdom's a safari. This ride is a torture chamber for me. <laughs> oh my god, let me tell you. Guys, the whole ride, first of all, I'm going to tell the story. The <laughs> whole on, ride... talk. We're going to both tell a story. All right. The whole ride is you're in a vehicle, and the vehicle, instead of windows, has, like, surround sound and, like, IMAX screens. Now, honey, mm -hmm. what am I petrified of? Dinosaurs. And what does the whole ride consist of? 
Well, besides Kong. Buzz dinosaurs because you and know what it happens? takes place on Skull Island. And what happens on a surround sound IMAX screened in car? You get scared. So why don't you tell them what I did to you the entire ride? Well, the thing was is that once we got on, I was really enjoying the ride. She wasn't that much. You know, it's but it's a three six like we were in this room where it was like a three sixty 3D show. Oh god, you're giving me a hot flash thinking and, about um, it. And you got to see, you got to see like these like different creatures, you got to see these dinosaurs, and then oh, eventually oh. Uh, Kong shows up and wrestles And that's where I hid. Yeah, that's when she, you know, when she hid, but then the, the of course we're actually, we're technically spoiling the ride for you guys, but then the cool part is, is that, you know, right after you a exit that room, then you go into another room where you get to see this huge bust of Kong, and it actually moves and roars and everything. And that just petrified me even more, so if the dinosaurs weren't enough, we had to have the damn Kong thing sitting there at the end. That <sighs> I don't do well with animatronic animals, especially dinosaurs and especially gorillas. I had a traumatizing experience when I was a very little girl. I'm going to tell this quick story. My dad took me to the Rainforest Cafe, and I got sat next to the animatronic gorilla. And I have not been the same, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't think you've heard that story. Oh, you never told me that before? I don't think I did. Uh -huh. now, you now you know what it is. So Hannah's third and final question. Thank you all for still watching and being patient. Um, Hannah's third and final question is, what is your favorite Tim Tracker shirt? Well, so, I don't have a favorite. I mean, all of mine are signed, or I would say the ones that are signed. But, I'm not going to really answer that because half of them he bought for me, and half of them my dad bought for me. And I don't want to disappoint any of them, even though it's more. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I really like this one. I just really love pink. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have ever checked out his website, but they have one that like resembles, um, oh, what's the ride called? They have one at Toy Story Mania. Thank you. Toy Story Mania. I could not think of that. They have one of that resembles Toy Story Mania with his dogs on it. Uh, he had two dogs, but unfortunately his one dog passed away last year. And this is the last shirt that they produced with his uh, poor deceased dog on it. And it was the first shirt that I've ever gotten with his dogs on it. So it's just really special to me. And Baby bought it for me. Yep, I got that for you. And then there was another one that, that I got That resembles you. the Jimmy Fallon ride. Jimmy Fallon ride. Race through, race through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Mm-hmm. I really like that one, too. Um... I know I wear his shirts every day, so y'all have probably seen me wear them in the past couple weeks. But those are my top two favorite. Um, now, you have two also, so which one of your two do you like best? Oh, for you? For you, because you have them. Well, Remember, I, you have shirts? I have the one. It's this blue one. It's got a mustache. Well, of course, this is when Tim used to have a mustache. And it says, now it's time to pay the price, which is his famous... Uh, uh, catchphrase that he always says at the end. And I used to have a shirt, it was a sleeveless shirt that said Holy Macaroni, but then when I tried it on, it was too big for me, so then I ended up giving it to your dad. Yeah, so uh, he'll be getting more t uh, tracker shirts in the future. He's actually on a diet right now and doing really well. Why don't you tell them how much you've lost? So far I've lost, uh, let me get a little closer, that way you guys can see me. So far I have lost, uh, a total of 18 pounds so far. I want to get down to like the 180s. Uh, sometime so when this he summer. when he loses a little bit more, I'm gonna buy him a new tracker shirt. That way you can feel like I still me. have like 32 more pounds to lose. You'll get there, love. Don't worry. Okay? Eventually, I will. You'll hmm. get there. Good. Okay. Thank you so much for submitting your questions, Hannah. That was a lot, but thank you. So our next question comes from my my personal friend. Her name is Bella. Her YouTube channel is Crafted by Bella. So please go subscribe to her. She's brand new. Her question is, 
Uh, it says, what is you and Sean's favorite thing to do together? Well, what's our favorite thing to do together? Well, besides uh, take our naps. Well, um, I do. We do love taking naps. By the way, we nap a lot. I have a heart um, condition. I get tired throughout the day, so I take multiple naps throughout the day. He works twelve hours a day, so sometimes he literally just comes over here to take a nap with me, which is really cute. Yeah, because I'm really, I get really exhausted from where I work. So. But that's not our most favorite thing. What's our most favorite thing? Well, our most favorite thing is. Um, we like to try to think. I know that we both love to watch Tim Tracker a lot. Yes. Um, Tim you Tracker. Know, of course, you know, you seeing with her shirt on. Um, Please go subscribe to the Tim Tracker. We also, uh, <laughs> you should probably retitle your channel the Daily Tracker instead of the Daily Swift. No, baby, stop. I'm just saying. I think Tim would come after me. You think so? I think he would. No, I don't think he would. It's okay. But um, but yeah, we just we love um, we love watching Disney movies too. We were actually gonna watch one tonight, but then, like I said, it's really late, so and we had to film the video, so yeah. But uh, yeah, we like to watch Disney movies together, and we like to uh, you know, go out like we like to go to theme parks. You know, theme parks are a thing, and. You know also, what I like? What do you like? I like anything that involves being with you. Aw, same here. Mwah. I hope that answered your question, Bella. That's pretty much like the biggest answer there that we can give you. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So our next question comes from a person named Kevin, who has a really long username that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but his first name's Kevin. Mm-hmm. And it says, what's your favorite thing to do in Florida? Well, my favorite thing to do in Florida is avoid the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I really hate the beach, you guys. I live, what, 15, 20 minutes away from it? And, I, and I've gone Probably once. Probably like 20 minutes. Well, I've gone once, right? In like, the past year. Well, last year, last year, actually, you know, her and I, we went to, uh, they have this festival that's every um, fall over at Clearwater Beach, it's um, it's this chalk festival where all kinds of artists come from all over to uh, do their chalk art on the sidewalks of Clearwater Beach, and they're pretty amazing to see. In fact, maybe sometime this year, if we ever go again, uh, we'll do a future video there so that way you guys can actually see what the uh, chalk art looks like. Yeah, but um, getting back to the question, my favorite thing to do in Florida would have to be the theme parks because we've got Bush Gardens, which is about 45 minutes away from me. We've got Larry Park Zoo, which is another 45 minutes away. We've got all four Disney parks, both Universal parks, all the water parks. Um, we've got Legoland, which we've yet to go to. Yeah, I, um, I've never been to Legoland. Are there any other theme parks in Florida? Well, um, there's... Let's see, did you name them all already? I think I did, but yeah, our favorite, my favorite thing to do is theme parks. What's yours? Well, I like, um, well, of course, you know, since she said that, you know, she hates the the beach now, me, I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I love going to the beach sometimes. Why am I with you? <laughs> me, well, you know you don't have to come. Oh, thank God. But, um... But right now, like I would say right now is actually the best time to go to the beach because usually um, in like July, August, July, like June, July, and August, is, it gets like way, way too hot to enjoy the beach and the water is like bath water. So I mm -hmm. would definitely recommend going to the beach like right now while the water is really cold. And uh, I also like going to the theme parks, too. Um, but I also really like... Um, I also really like um, going kayaking and seeing uh, the manatees. Really? It's manatee season. Why am I with you? <laughs> because well, I love you. Well, yeah, you love me. And, you, you know, you, you love the manatees. Yeah. Alrighty. So, our next question... Thank you, Kevin. Our next question is from... A girl named Caitlin. Hmm. Come here. You were so what... far away from me. I was just lay laying back there for a little bit. 
So okay, let's so see. our friend Caitlin has asked us another. Oh, only two questions. Sorry, I read that as three. Nope, that is three. Jesus, I can't see tonight. She asked us three questions. So the first question we've answered in so many videos before. So when we answer it this time, it'll be the final time that we answer it, right? Right, because, you know, Because it's like, the first question that she asked is, how did we mate? Right, and we've answered this question, like, many, many times in previous uh, vlogs, is that we actually met in uh, elementary school. In what year? Uh, second grade. Which is what year? 2003. Yep, first day of second grade in 2003, you guys. And yep. I told you five minutes ago... That I have a lot of medical illnesses. Well, when I was about six or seven when we were in elementary school, it was way worse than it is now. I've actually done way better throughout the years. But saying that equals people wanting to get away from me. And that one was the same way. Of course, he doesn't have any medical issues. But he just had problems making friends. And somehow we got paired up to do something with the first day I think it was introduction to something right it was something like that and the teacher put us together and we never split <laughs> yep until like, the sad day in sixth grade when you had to go to another school yeah but... I ended up having to go I had to go to um a public school because um I was getting to be too old to be in the sixth grade so I pretty much just skipped the sixth grade and went on to seventh grade, and it was very, it was really tough. You had to leave me. Yeah, I know. I didn't want you to leave me. But I'm here now. But you guys, honestly, even in sixth grade, we knew something was there. Yeah. Like, we just didn't know it yet then, but... We knew something was up, but we weren't completely 100% sure of what it was. But yeah, we're, you know, and we just, you know, we both became best friends, and I just, I really, you know, love my best friend so much. Mm -hmm. Stop. And now, and now, um, we are, now we're going out now. Mm-hmm. So that was Caitlin's first question. Caitlin's second question, but before I get to her second question, please don't ask the first question again. Like I just said, this is the final time we're going to answer it. Yeah, so, um... Her second question... Yeah. The second question is, are, are we each other's first relationship... Would you like to go first? Oh, for... For that question. For that question? Because I've been going first a lot. I just realized that. Oh, Oops. um, you can go first if you want. So, unfortunately, on my side, no. Um, I had two in the past. They lasted uh, a couple years each. And they didn't work out. But I'm glad they didn't work out. But throughout the relationship, it wasn't really good either. But that one was there for me, and yeah. Yeah, and I've I've had some girlfriends here and there, and they just really never worked out. But she's always been here for me and always been there with me from the beginning. And I just, you know, it took me a while to realize that, you know, she really loves me and that I really love her. And, you know, we were just meant to be together. And I'm going to add on to Caitlin's question. I'm going to actually add a fourth question in there while we're talking about this. The reason we decided to go out is because the last boy I went out with went out with me for almost two years and then told me that it was all faked. So when I called Sean and told him, I wasn't upset. You know, I didn't really honestly care. But when I called Sean, he thought I was upset and he's all like, you don't deserve to be alone. And I'm like, oh, God. So then he decided to ask me out the next day. So he did. Yeah, and I was just, I was, and then for me, it was like, I just was in a pretty much a, like a rough relationship. And I'm not really going to get into too many details. But it was just really just not really working out. And it wasn't a healthy relationship for either yeah. of the girls he went out with. Yeah. So, but I just thank God for him that they only lasted like a month or two. I had to suffer for years on end, but... Yeah, but now we're together and, you know, we couldn't be ha any more happier. Yeah. And Caitlin's third, but now fourth question, because I added on. Um, 
The third question she has for us is, do you think <coughs> you'll get married in the future? And the answer for that one is... We would very much like to, but not anytime soon. Right, because we just we just started going out, and it's it's too early to tell yet. I mean, for me, I would probably say yes, but again, it's still too early to tell yet, and we're just going to try to take this uh, relationship slowly and, you know, just enjoy it, you know, while we can. Although I did get myself a nice little ring from Disney, but it doesn't mean anything. It's just cute. Well, also, you know, you can look uh, look at it and just think about all those fun memories we've had at Disney together. I like to call it a promise ring. He likes to just agree with me. Oh, yeah, I, I agree with that. So. Thank you, Caitlin, for so many right, questions. I, I'll read the next question. The um, next question comes from this, comes from Urban Giraffe. What a great username. <laughs> yeah. I love pretty, giraffes. You're pretty awesome us username. Uh, where do you uh, hope your YouTube channel will take you in the future? And what's the ambition? Well, my all-time favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Come on, everybody, you know. Tim Tracker. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Are you everybody? Well, no, <laughs> but I'm just answering for everybody. <laughs> You're so cute. You're cute. My favorite YouTuber of all time is the Tim Tracker. And I know it I know the word was ambition, but he was my inspiration for doing it. So I hope to someday be as big as he is or bigger. Um another one of my favorite YouTubers is Plus Time Wins, who who I've actually met twice and Sean's met once. And they just recently hit a million, so I hope to someday hit a million. But probably not anytime soon. Tim, however, has 300 something thousand. So I'd like to just get to his level someday. Um, Ian, what's the ambition? Um, Tim. <laughs> I'm just going to try to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. And I know you don't have a YouTube channel, but do you have any advice for me? Well, just keep doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, try to, like, make a video each day and just, you know, eventually you'll get, you'll get there. So. Thank you, Urban Giraffe, an awesome username, dude. Yeah, I that, love giraffes. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome username. Alrighty, our next question comes from Debbie P. And Debbie asked... Two question, three questions as well. Jeez, we're getting a lot of people ask three questions. Yeah, these are good questions, by the way, guys. Wow. So Debbie's first question is, will we see more videos on location? Um, I'm not particularly sure what that means because most of my location is my home because I don't really get out much. Um, you guys finally found out the secret about Jasmine. Um, I'm going to retell it kind of in a couple words here. Um... I have to have a in-home... Excuse me, I'm tired. Are you bored? No, I'm not bored. I'm just tired. I had a long day at work, guys. Um, I have to have an in-home therapist come visit me every day, and that's Jasmine. Because of my medical illnesses, when I was younger, I was held back a lot from growing up. So, I don't really know how to do a lot. I drive. I graduate from high school with a normal diploma. I had a job, but had to quit due to medical reasons. But Jasmine's just here to help me be more of an adult and be independent. So, my location is home most of the time. Or sometimes I'll go to his house. I see that smile. Look at that smile, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I like it when she comes over and, you know, we, you know, she comes over to my house and we hang out. And, you know, we do all kinds of fun stuff I'm together. I'm gonna poke you. You gonna poke me? <laughs> um... So yeah, my location's mostly my house, my room where we're at right now, his house, Excuse me. his room. Um, once in a great while, I will do a video at my dad's house. I go over to my dad's about once a week, as you guys know from watching our Tuesday videos. Um, sometimes I will go to theme parks, but not really. I get too hot, you guys, and then I'll pass out, and it's not good. So, location videos, eh. 
Sorry if that didn't answer your question, Debbie, but I'll try to move around. Maybe I can just move to another room to do my videos. Maybe that'll count for location for Debbie. What do you think? Yeah, you can do that, or, you know, like, oh, whenever we... Oh, I forgot to show the sign. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can they see They can't it. see that at all, Yeah, but... it's very far away. But it says Q&A. Yep. With the Daily Swift and... And... Shawnee! Yep, me, Sean. Shawnee. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, but, we got yeah. distracted. I just noticed a sign in the background and noticed we were blocking it. But, yeah, well, also, you know, like, if I ever find anything that's interesting going on in the, you know, Clearwater area or Palm Harbor area... I'll let Marie know, or I'll ask Marie if she's interested in wanting to, like, go or whatever, and then we'll actually do it. So. Alrighty. Debbie's second question is, what restaurants or places is your favorite to eat at together? Well, our number one favorite would have to be... Zaxby's. Zaxby's! This video is not yet sponsored. Um, <laughs> yes, I love Zaxby's more than I love Sean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Baby, come on. <laughs> Yeah, you love me so much. But, yeah, Zaxby's is good. Zaxby's is amazing. But uh, real real restaurant-wise, where would our favorite be? Well. Sit down, use a menu to order, have a waiter come. Yeah. Those kind of restaurants. I'm trying to think because I know that we go to a lot of uh, different restaurants. Jeez. Um, I know that, uh, like, for breakfast, we like to go to IHOP. Mm -hmm. IHOP's great. Um, For... Dinner, um... I'm gonna say Olive Garden. Olive Garden's good. I like Olive Garden. Um, I know that I've been thinking a lot about, like, going back to this place. I haven't been to this place in, like, such a long time. Mm -hmm. But uh, another good place is uh, Mellow Mushroom. Yes, girl. And they got good uh, pizza there. And... Oh, he's not a girl. It's just we do that sometimes. Well, she does. I know, but... You've done it once. Just well, yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. If you're if you're looking for a really good pizza place, um, definitely check out Mellow Mushroom. There's one in Clearwater, and then there's another one that's in Tampa somewhere. But it's really it's a really good pizza place. I would highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. Um, and her Debbie's third question is: If you could choose one ride from all the parks, which is your favorite? We already answered this one though earlier if you could choose one ride from all of the parks which is your favorite like just any park any any like in any hmm. any, any park in florida yeah okay like any of the theme parks all right my favorite ride out of all the parks that we named would probably have to be hulk because it was my first ever roller coaster that was the first one i ever went on I'm going to keep saying it because of my medical illnesses. I was restricted by doctors of going on roller coasters for 23 years. And then when I finally got cleared, Hulk was the very first one I rode, and it was probably the best choice. Yeah, you've went on it, like, what, you said six times. In one day. Guys, in one day, one one time, I rode it six times in a row. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I, I could never do that. Probably just ride it once. So what's your what's your all time favorite ride? Ah, huh, my all time favorite ride. Hmm, that's a Star tough Tours. One. Well, I, yeah, Star Tours is awesome. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I've I've rode Star Tours like so many times, going to Hollywood Studios, and um, you know, I like how like they do all the different planets. Like you go from one planet to another, or you go from one space battle to another, and it's just really awesome, and um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a really cool ride, and I hope mm -hmm. that I hope it's still around for many generations to come, mm -hmm. so I can still ride it and everything, and people in the future can still ride it. All right, thank you for your question, Debbie. We're gonna move on to my friend Ohana six two six, and her question is: She must be a Lilo and Stitch fan. With that name, anyways. Her question is. Who is your all-time favorite Disney character, and what is your favorite candy? Well, my all-time favorite character, no lie, it or no surprise, this is Marie Kitty. Marie, because that's me. <laughs> but no, my other all-time favorite, I know I can't have two all-time favorites, but I do. My other all-time favorite is Donald Duck. I love that duck. 
as you saw in Saturday's video when I told him that. Yeah, yeah, she loves, absolutely loves tell, McDonald's. Tell them what happens every time we go to Disney. Every time, uh, whenever I go to Disney with her or whatever. What's the game we play? Uh, is that we try to find all the different Donalds and all the different, like, in all the Disney different parks. costumes that he's in, we try to meet all the Donalds. And one time we actually did, and it was the best day in my life. Yeah, in fact, last year when we went to Disney in September, we actually met, uh, we met, like, the regular Donald at Hollywood Studios, and then we met Safari Donald at Animal Kingdom. And then we met Mexican Donald in Epcot. At Epcot in the uh, Mexican Pavilion, because that's where the three Caballeros are. And then for Christmas time... His mom was nice enough to buy us tickets to uh, Mickey's Christmas party. So then we met Christmas Donald. Yeah, Christmas Yay! Donald and Uncle Scrooge. Uncle yes. Scrooge is there. So who's your all-time favorite character? All-time favorite Disney character? Mm-hmm. Hmm, this is a tough one. Um, the Goof? Well, yeah, I love I love Goofy, the Goof. As know? Tim would say. Yeah, Goofy's awesome. Uh, who else do I like? I like... Um, oh, I like, let's see, I like all the different uh, Disney villains. You know, they're pretty awesome. My dad's girlfriend is Maleficent. He also <laughs> likes Ursula, too. Yes. From Little Mermaid. Um, who else do I like? You're only supposed to name one or two. Oh, well. Oops. But, yeah, it's pretty much Goofy and the uh, Disney villains, I would say, mm -hmm. for me. So, my favorite candy, I don't really eat candy. I'm very weird. I don't like candy. Like, I don't like candy. Like, I don't know how to say that. Um, but if I had to eat candy, it'd be any candy that's grape flavored. Um, I don't like candy, though. That was a weird question. Oh, well, you great said... Qu great question, but well, yeah, I still well, like candy. Well, you said, you just, well, and, yeah, and even, like, that one time we went trick-or-treating and you, d you didn't eat any of your Halloween candy. Guys, I had my bucket overflowing, and I refused to eat any of it. What's your favorite candy that you don't need? <laughs> well, I have, I like, now for me, it's like I'm a big sweet tooth. I love, I love, love candy. I uh, Pretty much, like, anything that's chocolate. Of course, she hates chocolate. God, I hate chocolate. I do know. like Reptar bars, however. But you haven't ate any of them. I've eaten, like, four of them. What are you talking about? Really? Yeah. Oh, well, your mom said you haven't really been eating any. Mom doesn't watch me eat them. She doesn't really. Oh, well, you, you, need, you need to tell your mom that. <laughs> I did. She don't believe me. Um. Anyway. But, yeah, I like my fa all-time favorite candy, I would say, is anything that's Reese's. Oh, God. Uh, Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups are the, are the best. Oh, chocolate, ew. Um, okay, Chocolate thank Chocolate and peanut butter, best combination in the world. Thank you, Ohana626, for your question. Next question. Alright, so the... So the next question comes from Nina C3PO. I really like that name. It's awesome. Great name. I bet your favorite Star Wars character is C3PO. I like C3PO, too. Um, what is your favorite movie? <sighs> Obviously... Star Wars. And I'm not wearing the shirt, but my favorite movie of all time would be Beauty and the Beast. And you can't see my phone, but these are our phone cases. Mine does match. So if that's not enough proof to you, I don't know what is. Yeah, and of course, the shirt I'm wearing right now, this is my Last Jedi shirt. But... And look, guys, it even has a Kylo Ren necklace. Yeah, if you guys can see it, um, this is my Kylo Ren. You can Kylo barely see it, but you can see it. But yeah, you can you can see like you know this this mask and everything, and uh, yes, yeah, I got my. Let me fix my hair yes. here. I didn't didn't expect you to do that. See, got a Star Wars hat. So, but yeah, I'm a huge uh, Star Wars fan. Yep. Alrighty. We are getting down to our last couple of questions, you guys. Sad as it is. So, I'm not even going to try to say this person's name. But when this person watches this video, they will know their their question. Or I should hope they remember their question, because they wrote it. I just want to see what the question is. It's not a question for you. Well, yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I figured that out. <laughs> so, this person asked me a question that I thought I would never get, because every time I do get it, I refuse to answer it, because... I can't pick, 
but I'm going to try to be nice and answer it tonight. So this person asked, which version of Taylor do you like better? The old Taylor or the new Taylor? In my opinion, there's no old or new Taylor. Taylor is Taylor is Taylor. Now, if this goes on for a 10 minute rant, you bear with me because you know you even know not to, in, to ask me this question. Well, yeah, because you have the knowledge. First of all, hang on. What does this mean? Well, I know you can't see my face. See the infinity symbol and Swifty? That means I like Taylor forever and ever, no matter what she does. So, first of all, there's no new or old Taylor. Taylor is Taylor. So, I'm not going to answer that question. But I will answer the one about if you had to listen to one Taylor song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, you know this one. Would it be a uh, love story? Yes! Aww. I knew that. And why would it be that song? Because, um... That song has a special meaning. Because? Because it has something that has to do with us. Mm-hmm. What's the first line in the song? Um, it's, uh, Marry Me, Julia. No, that's the last line in the song. Oh. It's... The first line in the song is, we were both young. Yeah. When I first saw you. Oh, uh, well, yeah, because it, it references to when we first saw each other in elementary school. And the whole rest of the song... Is basically our life together. Yep. So, but I liked that song even before I got with him because, truth be told, every time I listen to him, oh, I'm going to be attacked here in a minute. Every uh -huh. time I listen to that song, I always thought of him. You always thought of me? I did. Aw. That's so cute. <laughs> I did, though, because I... This went on, you guys, for 18 years. We both secretly wanted each other, and there was things that he did, and there was things that I did that just dropped hints, like, every now and then, but it was, a, especially every time I listened to that song, I would just think about him and had that stupid, idiotic grin on that every girl gets. <laughs> but, yeah, you just, you, you know, you've... You want you know wanted to be with me for a long time, and now you're with me now. So, Mwah. how nice. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. All right. So this final question. I'm sorry for going off on you about that question, but really, I could not answer that first question. So the sec. Oh. Can I read it? So the very last question is for Sean from the same person with the username that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Yes. Yeah, so and um, this question is. Uh, Sean, what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming Star Wars area at Disney? Well, um, it was announced that Disney was going to be making a Star Wars land, which I'm really, really excited about. And it was announced, I believe, I think earlier this year or last year, it's going to be called uh, Star Wars A Galaxy's Edge, which, um, you know, it from the way it looks, and I've... I've been watching like the videos from Tim Tracker when when he goes to um Let's make a game. Hollywood How many Studios. times have I mentioned Tim in this one video? Yeah, you mentioned him a lot. <laughs> but um when I watched him go to Hollywood Studios um from like he was showing the construction and everything and the, it really it's been coming a long way and um from what I saw on the one ent the entrance to uh, Star Wars land it looks like um, you're entering it looks like you're entering like a studio like back lot or whatever or like a you know like a studio well not a studio but like a movie set but then it's so big it's like you're transported into like the galaxy far far away and um, it just I've seen like a model diorama of it and let me tell you it looks awesome and it's gonna be huge um, I know that one of the couple things I'm really looking forward to actually I can say three things is that um, they're gonna have this uh, Malayan Falcon uh, ride which it looks like you're piloting the Malayan Falcon uh, I'm really looking forward to riding that 
There's supposed to be another ride that's about um, the First Order versus the Resistance. I don't know if it's going to be a roller coaster or a simulation ride. I'm thinking probably, like, with how everything is looking, it's probably going to be similar to Pandora, except it's, uh, you know, Star Wars themed. And another thing I'm really looking forward to is the uh, cantina, where you get to uh, have, like, these Star Wars themed drinks. Of course, they're probably not going to be alcoholic, unless if... There's some out there that probably want alcoholic drinks. And they hey, want... you're of age. Well, yeah, of course. But, I, you know, I usually like when I go to Disney, I usually don't like to uh, drink because, you know, I, you get really exhausted and, you know, it's not really enjoyable. So, but, however, though, like, I really look forward to that, especially, like, when you get to, like, drink with a bunch of the different, like, creatures from Star Wars. Um, I know this was Sean's question, but I have some input on it. Um, as you guys saw on Saturday, I tried very hard to meet Darth Maul, which did not happen. <laughs> but I did, however, get a nice hug from Ray. So I'm hoping when they open the new Star Wars land, they will do a Darth Maul meet and greet again. Because I just want to hug that dude once, and then my life will be complete. Yeah. My dad actually got a hug from Maleficent a few years ago, so it is possible to hug an evil Disney character. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, the, from but from the way it looks, though, <coughs> from the way I see it, it looks like what Disney's trying to do is they're trying to uh, mostly focus on, um, like, their movies, like their own movies of Star Wars. Like, they want to focus on the story of the resistance versus the first order and i'm thinking that's what it's probably going to be once star wars land opens i think they're just gonna like kind of shy away from <clears throat> the movies that were originally george lucas's movies because disney wants to just go with their own ideas and just stick with their own stories and everything so I mean, I don't know what will happen, but I'm thinking that's probably what's most likely what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So. Well, we thank you all for submitting your questions, and a couple of you had some really good ones and some really awesome usernames, right, love? Oh, yeah, a lot of really awesome usernames, and uh, we would really like to do this again, doing a uh, Q&A video. Um, if, uh, you have any other more questions for us, uh, please, uh, comment below and, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and, uh, And if you like this channel, please share this channel with your friends and help me get to 1k subscribers, please. Yep. So, until then, I'll see y'all tomorrow. And, um. And nighty night. And nighty night. And may the force be with you.